already folded the diagonals of the paper here, so it folds to the diagonals. And so when I fold the diagonal, I'm actually lining up these edges. So to specify the algorithm, say, oh, I want this edge to line up right here, and I crease the diagonal. Now we're gonna we want to fold the concentric square in here. So to fold the square, I'm gonna fold this edge to the center line. So I'm lining up this edge with that point. That's an instruction to your, the algorithm of the computer, which in this case is me. And then I'm gonna crease the paper just between these two points. All right, and then I repeat that four times. And now I want to make this inner square, so this is a little bit trickier to fold an edge here. I want to fold this all the way to the first square that I made. And I'm just creasing this little part. Alright, now I'm halfway done. I have valley creases of concentric squares. I'm going to turn the paper over, make mountain creases, and I just fold in between each of these squares. All that's left is to fold all the creases at once. So I'm going to start from this is the most fun part. We'll start from the boundary, fold just the outer creases, get started all the way around. And it's really important to get these alternating mountain and valley squares. The outermost square is a valley and a mountain. Now I go to the next one, which is the valley. Squeezing everything together. All the creases happen at once. Okay, now I've got another mountain, and another valley. It's all coming together. It wants to fold. a little stronger. Okay, and then we just let go and the paper pops into this thing the hyperbolic craft. But, and sadly, 